very good result. Congratulations for that. What delivered this kind of performance? Most of our business units have performed extremely well. As you know, we are in print, uh, radio, television, digital, and other activities like those. And I think the, um, the, the performance is right across the board. The print media, particularly in Kenya, the National Newspapers Division has performed extremely well with a very strong circulation and advertising. And of course that, you know, is our flagship, so it is, does contribute the, most of our results. It has done very well. And also, uh, particularly the Tanzanian operation, the Mwananchi Communications Limited, which is a print media, it has turned around and has done extremely well with uh, quite uh, significant growth. Um, so looking at the print media right across from Uganda, Kenya, Tanzania, done extremely well. You're sitting on four billion shillings worth of cash. This is very unlikely for a media company. Why is that? Why are you doing that? Well, it has been a long time coming because I think, as you know, our, our vision of being the media of Africa for Africa requires significant investment in, in all kinds of uh, geographies and all kinds of uh, areas. Uh, so, and investment in media is quite a costly affair. And uh, as you know, we have uh, invested now in, in Uganda very significantly. We have invested in Tanzania, now in Southern Sudan, Rwanda, and so on. This requires heavy capital outlay. And because we want to be a significant media player across the, East African, uh, re uh, across the African region, uh, it's our view that, in fact, we should uh, contribute a significant portion of that um, uh, investment from our own resources in addition to borrowing. As you know, the, um, the financial markets in this region are fairly unstable, uh, very unstable interest rates. And, and therefore, for instance, we fear that uh, if we were to borrow all the money we need for doing this business, and maybe we borrow, say, at 6%, and then the following year, the rates shoot up to 25%, even a perfectly um, viable business becomes very difficult to do. And therefore, some of this money we have been keeping and accumulating to be able to do investment, and we're investing in radio, television, digital, and so on. So you will, you will not be finding a lot of this money hanging around for very long. Right. We do hope that uh, it will be able, we'll be able to use it for our capital investment needs. You're very much a regional media company right now, despite Kenya having been your traditional market. The Tanzanian business has turned around significantly. NTV Uganda, for instance, operating profit up 7, 77%, and overall monitor publications doing well. You You've acquired a radio station in Rwanda. What's your thought on the region right now? It comes in the overall thing because, as you know, the East African community integration has been coming for a long time. And we like to think that uh, our being in Nairobi and being a Kenyan company is really accidental ra rather than essential. And therefore, if you're going to be a key, a key player in the East African region, you have to have a good foothold in, this, in these countries. And that is the reason that informed our going to Uganda and Tanzania, Rwanda, and uh, Southern Sudan. I think Southern Sudan is likely to be uh, coming uh, a little bit uh, as, a, as a, a member of this African community. And therefore, the reason for this is we want to have to be a, a strong player within the East African community. And I think this is coming to be. You already have a bureau in South Sudan, but is there a likelihood that you'll be entering there as one outlet or the other, whether it's print or television or radio? We are going in softly. We have started with a bureau to be able to cover events from that region and then uh, most likely we're going to start with um, probably electronic media, maybe radio, television and then we see how it is. At the moment it's not really viable to go into print media in southern Sudan because you know the roads are not really there and also the other infrastructure that you need like for setting up a printing plant, that's a, a long way off. So but we want to go and cover the, the region particularly from the point of view of advertising and therefore, that's why a bureau will be able to cross sell through our various products. We're coming up to an election in Kenya, which is usually a very testing time for media in Kenya because of the competitive and competitive environment, and therefore the spend is much higher. But also, this ones are very significant elections for the country. What's the strategy for nation in this? We think the media can play a very constructive role in ensuring that, in fact, we have a free, fair and credible election. But the other aspect of this is because it's a big election, you may have to spend a significant amount of money. The resources required are huge for equipment, for television, for coverage across the country and things like that. I think that is true, you know, because if you really want to be number one and you want to be, uh, your station to be the choice for instance, the television, the, the choice um, uh, station for people to view, 
you've got to be fast with the news, you've got to uh, present that news in a manner that people can relate to. You want to be able to cover as many events as possible. And this is very, very costly. And therefore, we're going to be investing a lot, particularly on, on our transport budget, to ensure that, in fact, we can cover um, as many parts of the country, as many countries as we can. We'll try to leverage on the technology that is available to ensure that we can get all the information and uh, that is needed as, uh, as and when. And let's finish up with your outlook for the second half of the year for Nation Media Group. It's difficult to say. If I knew, I... <laughs> I think we'll do very well. But of course, you know, we are going to, a, to an election period. And during the election period, many businesses uh, feel very apprehensive. And many of them sometimes, you know, they, they pull down on the advertising and so on. So we don't know what will happen. But we, we are up with that uh, maybe the, that the second half is going to be probably as good as the first half. Uh, as I was making a statement earlier on, I think it is necessary for the media to ensure that uh, the political temperatures don't rise as a result of the election. If that happens, uh, I think we, we can have a very second half. Certainly, the momentum that we had in the first half of this year, we are very optimistic that uh, we will carry it into the second half.